So our buy energy condition will be based on all three indicators agreeing with each other. Only when all three are in agreement will we be entering the trade. Now we're gonna click save and we're gonna click add to chart. You can see on the chart, you have these two lines, right? These are gonna give you your entry and exit conditions. And there you go. Now you have completely automated this indicator when the entry alert is generated. Hi guys, welcome back to AlgoTest. In this video, we're gonna be showing you a template on TradingView that's gonna create buy and sell signals based on three different indicators. The indicators are the EMA or exponential moving average, the MACD or moving average convergence divergence indicator, and finally the RSI, which is the relative strength indicator. So we're gonna be generating entry and exit conditions for the long leg or the buying leg, and we're gonna be generating entry and exit conditions for the short leg. First, we're gonna show you how this strategy functions on a trading view chart on let's say the Nifty index. Then we're gonna show you how you can automate this using AlgoTest and our custom code that we've written and we're providing to you absolutely for free. So let's jump straight into the video. First things first, I'm gonna head on over to trading view and what I'm gonna do is, this is the Nifty index. You can choose whatever index you like. Let me first explain to you what the strategy is and its entry conditions. So first we're gonna add our three indicators. So let's start off with the EMA, scroll down, moving average exponential, and add two of those. Then we're gonna change this to one EMA is gonna be a period of nine. So look back into nine candles, and the other one will be 21. Again, this is not a strategy recommendation. This is only showing you what the template is and you can change these numbers according to your personal strategy let me just change this color so it's easier to see now we're going to add our second indicator which is the macd there you go i'm not going to change anything for this and then we can also add our final indicator which is the rsi relative strength index. I'm just gonna clean up the RSI index to make it easier to view. And I'm gonna change the upper band to 80. Again, this is just a template, not a strategy recommendation. So our buy energy condition will be based on all three indicators agreeing with each other. So if you have two indicators saying short and one saying sell, that's not a buy condition. If you have two indicators saying buy and one saying sell, that's also not a buy condition. Only when all three are in agreement will we be entering the trade. So for example, so for example, here you can see the blue line is our fast EMA because it's a shorter period. And once that crosses above the orange line, which is the slow EMA with 21 candles, that is the entry condition for this leg. However, if you look down here, it is not in the MACD is not in agreement, right? The MACD, the signal line, which is the orange line, is below the blue line. So a trade will not be triggered here. And in the RSI as well, you can see it's not above 80, which is set over here. And therefore there's no entry condition here. So I'm not gonna look back and show you an entry condition. I'm sure you can do that for on your own. But the interesting part is how can you automate this where it's gonna show you buy and sell signals on its own. So let's get rid of these indicators. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add our custom code over here. But wait, don't worry. You don't have to do the coding because we've done it for you. We're gonna be providing in the description two Google Docs. One is gonna have the long side conditions. One is gonna have the short side conditions. So let's demonstrate the long side. This is the file you will be given. What you have to do is you have to copy all of this, okay? And then head over to the trading view chart, click on find editor and paste it here. Make sure this is your last line. Anything below this, you can just cancel out. Now we're gonna click save and we're gonna click add to chart. There you go. Now, I'm gonna hide this panel. You can see on the chart, you have these two lines, right? These are gonna give you your entry and exit conditions. Currently, you can see it just shows exit, exit, exit. If we go back a little bit, you can see at some point, you will find the entry condition. There's not too many entry conditions for long or short here, which is the beauty of this kind of strategy. There you go. There's an entry condition right here. This is just a template. Now what you can do is click on this button over here and go to inputs. Now you can change whatever inputs you want. Let's say I wanna change my fast EMA's length to 
maybe 5. And my slow EMA's length to perhaps 12. I can do that. Then I can change my fast MACD length, I can change my slow MACD length, RSI length, and so on, right? Changing that will obviously change all of these lines. And as a result, it's gonna change your entry and exit signals. So for now, I'm just gonna click cancel and leave the defaults. This is the strategy showing you its parameters, showing you the entry and exit conditions on the chart. But how do you automate this, right? You don't wanna be sitting in front of a screen all day and then trading this manually, waiting for the numbers and the other letters to come up, okay, entry. Right? This can be automated using AlgoTest. So let's do that. So this is the AlgoTest landing page. I'm going to click on go to dashboard. And then in the navigation bar, we're going to click on signals. Now what we're going to do is click on new signal, trading view. For now, let's just forward test this. And let's create a simple strategy. Since this is the long leg and we want to buy, let's just buy a call at ATM. Add a leg. Save and continue. Name this as three indicators long buy. Done. There you go. Okay. Uh, custom name for the alert. We're going to name it as entry long buy. Click on save. Now copy the JSON block. Head to trading view. Add an alert. Change the condition from this to combining three indicators. Only once per bar. And as usual, paste the JSON block here. In case you're unfamiliar on how to automate an, a strategy on AlgoTest via TradingView or charting, we have a video in the description for that. So we're gonna click now back to AlgoTest, click on I have pasted. Now copy the webhook URL, head back to TradingView. In the notifications tab under webhook URL, select all, paste, and click on create. So as you can see, we have now added the long condition, meaning when we're going to buy this, when the triggers are given. But you can see these exit signals are also provided over here. So let's automate that as well. We're going to head back to AlgoTest, click on Add Exit Alert. We're going to name this as Three Indicators Long Sell. Right? So obviously to square off, you have to click on Sell. Right, same process, copy, back to algo test, add an alert, change this condition to combining three indicators, and this time we have to select, instead of entry, you have to select exit. Here, paste the JSON block, head back to algo test, I have pasted. Now copy this webhook URL, we're gonna paste the webhook URL here and click on create. Now that that's done, we're gonna click on start listening. There you go. There's your three indicators long leg where you're going to buy and sell. Now let's add a condition for when you want to short this strategy. So you will sell the index or the option or whatever trade you have when the exit condition is triggered. So now let's add the opposite conditions, meaning we've got the long side. So when there's a buy condition triggered, we're going to enter uh, buying a call. Now what we're going to do is when there's a sell side opportunity, we're going to buy a put. Go to the second document. Once again, we're gonna copy this. This will be conditions for the sell side. Paste it here and click on save. And now let's create an alert to enter this. So we're gonna click on add an alert, select our condition as combining three indicators short and entry. Head to algo test, new signal, trading view, forward test, create a strategy, buy a put, add the leg, and save and continue. Name this as three indicators short entry. Done. Now three indicators short. Name this as three indicators short buy. So now we're buying the put. Save, copy the JSON block, head to trading view, paste it here. Now notifications tab, head back to trading view. I have pasted, copy the webhook URL, head back to trading view, paste this webhook URL and click on create. Back to algo test, add the exit alert, right? Because we want to exit, exit and square off this position in the event that it goes against us. So we're going to name this as three indicators short sell. So now we're selling the put leg to square it off. 
click on save, copy the JSON block, head to trading view, add alert, condition changes to combining three indicators short, and exit leg, paste the JSON block here, notifications tab, back to algo test, I have pasted, copy the webhook URL, back to trading view, paste the webhook URL, and click on create. Once that's done, simply click on start listening. And there you go. Now you have completely automated this indicator from the perspective of going long or buying a call when the entry alert is generated. And then of course you have the exit alert also for it automated in it. And now you've also created an entry alert for when a short opportunity arrives and you will buy a put and then sell that put if the exit condition is achieved. Now it's important to note here that this is just a template, like I said earlier. We encourage you to use this template, use the code given in the description, add your own parameters to it, change the lens of different indicators, change perhaps the strategy, maybe instead of buying, you can sell, maybe instead of having just one leg, you can have multiple legs, perhaps you could trade an iron condor or something like that whenever condition is triggered. All the power and all the inputs are in your hands. All you have to do whenever you wanna change a condition is click on this icon over here that says settings and change the inputs into whatever you'd like. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. And if you have any strategy recommendations that you want us to code for you, if you have a strategy that needs to be coded on PineScript on TradingView, and we automate it for free for Signals customers that have purchased a certain amount of credits. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel if you enjoy this content, and click the notifications bell to never miss an upload. See you next time.